welcome to show 205. Hello. 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 Chris is still in India. I am, I am. He'll be back next week. I will, I will. And this is awesome. I can't remember what it is. It's the fuzz. Like an open door on uh, Kala Records, yeah. I've got another one of their singles and I've been after the album for a long time. It's not, it doesn't go for particularly that much. I think it's like a 20, 30 quidder. But uh, it's beautiful and I love this track. Yeah, very nice, Brad. Very nice indeed. Hell, that be this? Yeah. The other side's quite nice as well, but this is the one, man. This like, is yeah. so cool. I, I think they, were, they only did one album. So, no. yeah. Do you remember? I can't remember the joke when you were a kid. How did you get? I have to remember it in between the takes. Yeah, I don't want to tell you one of them a joke. Cool. Yeah. An interesting collection of music this week, though. As per norm. As yeah. per norm, yeah. Yeah, next up, um, yeah, played this actually to Mr. Specific and Whirlwind D a couple of weeks back. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> yeah, and, that, and uh, yeah, that, that, that blew their tiny minds, bless them, I have to say. Yeah, but it's, uh, the next up, we've got Betty Levette and Soul Tambourine. See if you can uh, guess the break. On Atlantic, uh, uh, better than that. Soul Tambourine. Yeah. Circa 89, 90. Big hip hop tune, so I will this. When it kicks in, you'll know. Excellent. How many of you last week went immediately after the show and bought discotheques? Oh, well, you know you did. You know you did. Lovely. Hey everybody. Yeah, and I think a few of you. I'll be trying to get this after this. Well, yeah. Don't yeah, excellent. Absolutely excellent. Yeah, brilliant. Great, great, great band. Yeah, it's cracking this. Yeah. Well, I, this. I love Young Noel. I do. I love them. Love them. Yeah. Oh, I mean, I've got quite a few 45s by them as well, and it's, they're all great party tracks, but lots of them. All good fun floor shakers. Yeah, their albums are always killer as well. Yes, yes, they are. They are. Good loads. Very nice indeed. Yeah. And talking of uh, killer uh, jazz tunes. Well, Normally you'd bypass this next chap, Lionel Hampton. Oh, I, right I, I would, yeah. But, but uh, pick this up, this album here, uh, Lionel Hampton and his Jazz in a Circle. It looks really old. It's pretty damn good, I have to say. Uh, it's a bit muddy sounding, but uh, very nice. So let's go and have a bit of Lionel. It's Greasy Greens by Lionel Hampton. It's, it's a really good album, I have to say. Yeah. Yeah, it looks a lot earlier than it is. Yeah. It isn't. It's on Glad Ham Records. Yeah. And it's called Ham Stamps, the album. You think that uh, the record label might be something to do with Lionel Hampton himself? It's a good chance. Well, I think so. He's probably getting on it by then as well. So yeah, yeah, that's it. Vibe Master himself. Yeah. Yeah. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Yeah. It's, uh, it's says it's a bit muddy but I quite like the fact that it's a bit muddy yeah. like it. weirdly enough makes it almost sound like when it's from it's where it, where it look, when it looks like it's from it is true it is from. it is true Bradley I have to say I'm a man of science it is it is yeah. next up we've got a really cool track yeah really yeah really yes cool. yeah yeah I have to say yeah, yeah. William Bell obviously was in Stacks but he did a I didn't realise that he actually released stuff in the late 70s so this album, uh, which is, there you go, William Bell looking very, very suave on the front. Yeah, yeah. Right. If you'd have gone into William Bell's bedroom in 1979 and you were a woman, you were going to hear this. That's right. 
want you in trouble. And then you're going to be violated. <laughs> He's going to stand at the end of the bed <laughs> and say, ring my bell, baby. <laughs> Ding dong. dong. It's great, yeah. Just another way to feel. Uh, I would say it's the best track on the album, but you know. Just another way to feel is got all sorts of connotations. Oh, it does, it does, yeah. Very Dusty Finger style, this, I have to say. Yeah. But, um, yeah. Lovely, very nice indeed. Yeah, he even sings. He does. Um, we probably won't get to that, though, because it takes such a long time to yeah. actually get into the song. A bit like how William makes love. <laughs> yeah, that's right. For hours. For hours. That's right. <laughs> yeah. Uh, next up, <laughs> we've got... I bought a record on uh, on Discogs uh, a couple of weeks back, and he sent me the album that I was after, and, uh, and threw in a seven. I, 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 I'm assuming he threw it in. He might have just had it in there. And, you know what I mean? Stolen the record? No, not at all. But it's I, I haven't really looked it up or anything like that. But uh, it's really good. It's uh, Mono Wax and Epic the Artist, aka the Stranger and the Scientist, in your ear. And on the other side is the same, but the track's was still alive. It's a great seven, I have to say. Nice little bit of hip hop, this. Seven. Yeah. So uh, let's have a listen. Yeah, it's hip hop I like. Yeah. Lots of scratching and shit like that. It's brilliant. Yeah. Mono acts and the epic artist. Epic the artist. It's fantastic, anyway. Yeah. I'm sure if you're out there, probably already know this, but I didn't have a clue, and it's free, so there you go. <laughs> well, a few years ago, we had Tough Cut in here, and he got that Chopped Herring uh, Master Ace album, and I was like, gutted that I didn't get it. So I finally got it, and the guy who sent me it, I think it was from Belgium or something, and he threw this in, so anyway. yeah, yeah. Very nice. Simulator, no it is nice, that's a real bonus. Yeah, it is, yeah. 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 Exactly, yeah. And the other side's killer as well. Yeah. There you go. There you go. Now then, that break of the week. Wow. Well, we're going to play the whole track pretty much. Um, but... Yeah, there might be a few people out there that know this, but I certainly don't, and I can't find anything out about it. Either way, it's Russian. A Russian version of John Davis and the Monster Orchestra. I, you, I can't stop. Wow. Anyway, so here we go. Don't you love a cover of a funk sort of disco break classic? Especially when it's Russian. Especially when it's Russian. How, I mean, I just can't comprehend how this was happening behind the eye curtain. You know, it's some great jazz, and, that, and you think, okay, you can sort of understand that. Yeah. But disco just seems like people would have been cavoying. Yeah, well, I, West uh, it's weird. They haven't even called it I Can't Stop. It's simply called Orchestra, and not by John Davis, but D. Davis. Yeah. But there's also a killer version of... Um, what do you, uh, what's the... Uh, there's a killer version of, of another track. Of another track. There's another exactly. track. There's another there's track. Version yeah. Of... The other side's awful. But this is this great. This side's good, yeah. yeah. She can't say I can't stop very well though. Listen. As I said to Chris, there's another track on this. It sounds like Minnie Driver in Goldeneye when she's singing Stand By Your Man. Stand by your man. <laughs> nice. A couple of these as well. Breaks. No, I haven't got two copies, but... Yeah. Wicked. Good, yeah, really, really like this, I have to say. So, uh, sadly... It doesn't, because it's all in the Russian language. All it says here, orchestra and disco vocal group conducted by Igor Petrenko. Igor. There you go. Anyway, try and find one. <laughs> anyway, our theme of the week is from James Bond. 
Yeah, yeah this is from the Live and Let Die. That's right. Uh, oh, this Martin, is Martin May, rest in peace. Yeah, this is Trespassers Will Be Eaten. So it's obviously the bit where, uh, uh, yeah, where, he's, where he's tossing the, stuff the, the crocodiles off. Yeah. <laughs> and then he jumps on the crocodile's head. Yeah, that's right. Which the stuntman actually did. It actually happened. Really? Yeah, the stuntman actually did it. Believe it or not. Oh. Yeah. Bad. Yeah, excellent. It, you forget how good this album. In fact, you forget how good all of the Bond soundtracks are. They've all got some amazing stuff. Well, up to a point, Chris. Up to a point. What are you talking about, man? Aha! Yeah. Brilliant. <laughs> I quite like Aha. <laughs> living daylights. Listen, no, that's not it. It's a view to a kill. No, Aha uh, uh, is. Aha yeah, uh, is living daylights. Living daylights. View to a kill. <clears> Duran Duran. Which is even better. I'll catch me out on Bond. No, no. Uh, but it does go a bit wonky after Goldeneye, I've got to say. Yeah, I didn't, yeah. Mind, I didn't mind Tomorrow Never Dies, Show Crow, but I didn't just go. There was another, there was a guy who did one of the songs, I can't remember. Which one? Might have been the last, not, not the one. Casino Royale did, the guy who did, did um, what his bloody name now. Uh, it was alright. You, right. you Know My Name one. Yeah, it's not yeah. bad. It's alright, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Jack. Jack White ones a little bit. Yeah, it doesn't sound like a bond tune. No. The last one was fucking terrible. Oh, you yeah, know, no. just awful. I won't like, fuss on the Adele one either. That was useless. No. Yeah, but the last one was just awful, though, man. I mean, why, why have a point? I think I said it at the time. If Shirley Bassey is still alive. Who she is? If she is, I know, but I'm saying, if she's, while she's still alive, you should use her for bond tunes. Yeah. Just Shirley Bassey. Just wheel her out. Here you go. Still on her feet. Sing this. Yeah. Anyway. Anyway, that's it from us. Uh, hopefully yes. I'll be from India. Um, yes, time. we'll be back. We'll be back next week. Yeah. Yeah. Although every time we play Bollywood soundtracks, they were taken down. This is true. Yeah, so we'll see. Anyway, see you later.